What's up, YouTube? Before we start, you already know, smash the like on this video for more fire content. If you haven't subscribed yet, make sure to subscribe and hit that notification bell. For all the newcomers, welcome to Team Island. Make sure to follow Team Island on our IG page, TikTok, Twitter, and Twitch. Today's video, I'll be talking about what to do before the snap. Your pre-snap reads, what to look for, the communication you need to have with your teammates so you can anticipate certain routes and make more plays. You gotta call out how many receivers you got. I got one receiver, right? Got one receiver, he's lined up at the top of the numbers. Very important, top of the numbers. Now, from based on film study and everything, want to have certain routes that the receiver runs at the top of the numbers, especially when he's a single receiver. All right, so now we got one receiver, top of the numbers, down in distance. All right, is it third and five? What routes they run in third and five, right? Second and 10, if they're running the ball or passing the ball, just based on his leverage, that will help us have an idea of what routes to come. So now we get the coverage, right? If I got inside help, right? So I'm playing outside leverage because I got inside help, right? So I'm letting my teammate know, hey, alert the slant, alert the slant, alert the slant, based off his leverage or where he aligned, right? So we have a certain idea, we wanna communicate with our teammates so now we can put them in better position to help us. So now, there's two receivers. So I gotta communicate, I got two, I got two, I got two, right? We're communicating that, right? Based on the leverage, if he's off the ball and he's on the ball, right? Right, so now flip alignment, flip, flip, flip. All right, so now we got an idea what routes they come in flip alignment. Is it gonna be smash? Is it gonna be uh, in from number one? So we gotta communicate that, alert the end to the inside help, and then we go from there. So now we wanna communicate the alignment of the receivers, right? If they're tight, close alignment, right? Now we gotta tell our team, hey, I got two, I got two, close, 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 so tight, tight, tight. So now we're communicating with our teammates. So if there's a check or anything, we gotta make sure we make that check. So they're tight, right? So me and the safety or whoever's inside, we're gonna communicate, hey, I got two, they're tight, might call banjo call or zone it call, right? So we call banjo, banjo, banjo. So I'm playing outside leverage. Banjo means I got the first thing that comes to me, he got the first thing that goes to him, right? So now you making sure you know the down and distance, right? Know the down and distance, have an understanding. If it's third and five, they're probably gonna route some type of routes to the sticks. So you gotta be alert for that. Still got two receivers, right? Now let's say one receiver motion across. We got it. We the first one to see that's corners. So you got your motion, motion, motion. Echo the call to everybody else so everybody can hear it. The reason why is because if we yell motion, it might change the coverage. It puts more people on that side as a threat. So we might have to change the coverage. Everybody was on the same page to do their job. If we're in man coverage, especially there to goal line, a lot of times, a lot of teams do is they run with the motion, right? We run with them. Now, some teams will bump it, bump the coverage, but a lot of times we wanna run with it. So if he motion, motion. The key is we have to be in the trail of the motion guy. And we have to run behind the linebackers. We don't wanna run in front of them. Make sure we run behind them. So now, just in case he comes back, we're there. Just in case he keeps going, and let's say he runs a flat route, we could break downhill to the upfield shoulder. Very important. I know you guys seen that clip in the Super Bowl. They were bumping that. The uh, DB turned around, looked at the safety, and the receiver just went right back and caught that touchdown pass. So we gotta make sure we communicate, make sure we're trailing, and make sure we keep our eyes on the man. That's the end of the video. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Make sure to drop a like and share. If you haven't subscribed yet, make sure to subscribe. Make sure to follow us on all our platforms, IG, TikTok, Twitter, and Twitch. And I'll catch you in the next one. Peace.